we encounter, you know, varying definitions of the customer experience, why? Um, because it, it changes over time. There are many things that a brand could do that isn't necessarily down to, you know, a customer's engagement with them. Right. Right. A good example of that might be, you know, how, you know, socially or environmentally responsible you are. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with me buying anything. Welcome to another episode of Data Strategy Unraveled. I'm your host, Kendra Reed, Principal Data Strategy Tech Specialist at AWS. And today we're going to talk a little bit about customer experience and data strategy and how they're intertwined. When you think about the world that we live in today, it's very connected, right? When you think about the brands we interact with from retail to banking to travel, we expect them to understand us and how we interact with their products and anticipate our needs and wants and even help resolve issues quicker because we have been interacting with their brand. However, it can be very frustrating when we're interacting online and then have to call in for to, to help resolve an issue and having to re-explain what happened for us to resolve that issue. And so we're going to talk a little bit about today how the proper data strategy can help improve the overall customer experience for users. And to help with this conversation, Dwayne and Hara, some thought leaders in the space from AWS, to drive this discussion. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Hara. How are you today? We're good. good. How, how are you? I'm good. Good. Thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, step into our channel here to talk a little bit about customer experience. Before we get started um, and diving into that, how about you both tell us a little bit about yourselves, a little background so that the viewers can know. Um, Hara, how about you go first? Yeah, sounds great. Uh, thank you, Kendra. Uh, so I'm a data and uh, customer experience strategist in AWS. And I work in a team that create, um, creates assets, offerings, accelerators to help organizations uh, innovate their business and transform the customer experiences using data analytics and uh, machine learning. Uh, I have more than 30 years of experience um, in that space. And before joining WS, I was in uh, consulting where I used to work with different organizations across different industries and functions uh, to help them meet their business outcomes, again, using data analytics and ML. Uh, the accent is Greek, so I'm Greek, <laughs> but I live and work in uh, London. Um, yeah. Dwayne? Awesome. Man. Um, so Dwayne Brown, um, I work in our worldwide specialist organization, specifically data strategy. And um, data strategies, very much about you know combining your professional experience with Amazonian techniques to solve customer challenges. Um, uh, I look after a number of different um, special areas or specialize in a, a number of different areas, but I focus mainly on customer experience. Um, um, eighteen years experience overall led a number of different types of teams, product teams, you know, delivery teams, um, you know, program teams as well, and um, yeah, spend a number of years in consulting. Nice, nice, nice. So, you know, when we're talking about customer experience, how exactly would you define customer experience? Oh, like, how um, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that because <laughs> we've been hearing different definitions. Uh, customer experience is quite broad. So, uh, just, yeah, to bring everybody on the same page as we are. So, Customer experience refers to the overall uh, perception that a customer or a company has uh, of a brand or an organization based on the interactions and the experience that they have with that brand or organization. So if you think about, maybe Kendra, if you think about a brand that you like uh, and um, you think about the, your life cycle with this and what I mean about the life cycle is how you got first to know about the brand. Uh, how do you discover this? How you first engage? Then maybe you learn more about than you engage in terms of buying a product or um, using a service. And you have to experience that product and service. And eventually, if you like it so much, if your experience is that good, you can become a loyal customer. So that's the life cycle. So um, it encompasses every touch point starting from the first interaction to become an and stay a loyal customer. And as I love saying is to become an ambassador 
uh, of that brand or organization. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the only way that I feel about that is the reason why I think, Hara, and keep me honest as well, like, we encounter, you know, varying definitions of the customer experience. Why? Because um, it, it, it changes over time. There are many things that a brand could do that isn't necessarily down to, you know, a customer's engagement with them. Right. Right. A good example of that might be, you know, how, you know, socially or environmentally responsible you are. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with me buying anything. Yeah. So, you know, depending on who you speak to, you know, if you speak to someone who's more focused on brand, then they'll kind of like speak more about, you know, kind of like broader drivers. If you speak more to someone who's, Know, you know, spent most of their career in customer service and they'll, they'll t talk to you about, you know, how customer service is a bigger driver. And that's the reason why you get these very definitions. That makes sense. That makes sense. So when we talk about being data driven, you know, this data strategy, how does that fit into, you know, a customer experience? Well, let's start a little bit more with, that. let's start with the um, uh, common questions that you know organizations customers um have um about customer experience so we hear a lot about um how we can get started on customer experience transformation uh, does customer experience link to the wider business and digital transformation how data ai ml can help with this how actually now you know generative ai can help with this um, how can I make the link between customer experience and value? Uh, and also there are specific metrics on customer experience like NPS, uh, CSAT. So how can I optimize these metrics? How can I optimize customer experience while optimizing costs? That's from organization's perspective. If you think also about from customers and consumers' perspective, there are questions there as well in terms of how the organization I'm interacting with, the company that I love, know me. How much, how, how well do they know me? Do they like my preferences? Do yeah. they like my needs? Do they like my wants? Um, do also they value my time? Um, do I have a seamless uh, interactive experience? And I think it goes also, uh, the most important thing is also about trust. Um, mm -hmm. To um, how I, I'm using lots of data. Uh, that I give back to the companies that I'm interacting with. Can I trust that the company um, uh, uses data wisely? Um, so think about the marketeers, think about the ads, the personalization, personalized ads that we get. Um, so everything back, links back to data, how the companies are using this, how the data that we need to the models that are creating um, the companies to target the customers are used, um, and how the data that the, uh, that the organizations are um, gathering, how they consume it uh, back to target the customers, enable the customers with experiences. Got it, got it. Yeah, got it. yeah go ahead, Dwayne. I mean, so I, I, the only way I would build on that as well, so it, as you can see there, right, there is there is a lot of complexity. Yeah. So what yeah. we attempt to do is we attempt to condense it down into five areas, really, right? Um, so obviously there's the empathy bit. To know your customers better, understand their unmet needs, you know, you know, as they engage with you and as they don't engage with you, right? You've got the attract bit, so it's around connecting customers, so the service that you've got to a customer need. Right, that means it's better for you and it's better for them. Right, you got delight. Right, so as you engage, can it be more personalized? Can it be more in context, uh, transforming, which is really around removing friction, making it better, um, and then nurturing. This is really around fast forwarding. You know, converting that relationship from something that's reactive to something that's proactive. Yeah, and changing the relationship we've got with customers. So we try to, you know, kind of condense it into those five areas, whether it's from a customer perspective or from a business perspective. 